Now maybe a, a short list of, uh, of verbs, uh, easy words, uh, easy verbs of the first group, uh, without any exception. Uh, for instance, I, I made my, my own list. So we already spoke about danser. Uh, and previously we, we, we had, uh, I don't remember, we had chanter, yes, to sing. So another one could be, for instance, parler. Parler, which is to talk. Parler. You can use it exactly the same way. Je parle, tu parles. Elle parle. Nous parlons. Vous parlez. Il parle. That means you just have to replace the green part, what we call the radical. You have to replace the radical here and use the same red part. Vous, dans, vous parlez. Another one could be uh, regarder. Regarder. Regarder means to, to look. Um, for, uh, to look or to watch depends. For example, you say um, uh, Je regarde la télévision. I watch TV. Or uh, I am watching you. Uh, je te regarde. But regarder. Uh, well, there is, I know already an issue because this air sound is difficult for certain languages. For example, for people uh, having uh, the, the English language as a native uh, language, is, this sound is a bit difficult because it's come from the throat. But uh, Probably instead of saying regarder, uh, for example, a British person would say something like regarder, regarder. But it's not a problem. If you say regarder, uh, we know that you're from, you're not French and you, you may be English or American, I don't know. Um, but it's not a problem. We can understand you the same way. It's not a problem. Okay, so uh, another one could be dessiner. Dessiner. First group, no exceptions. Dessiner is to, to draw. For example, I, I draw uh, something, I draw uh, a cat. Je dessine. Un chat. Je dessine, tu dessines, il dessine, nous dessinons, vous dessinez, il dessine. It's the same thing. To draw. Uh, what else could be, uh, for example, crier. Cri. Crier. Which um, has the same air sound. Cri. Crier. Crier is to shout. Uh, je crie dans la rue. I'm shouting in the street, for example. Crier. Je crie, tu cries. Elle crie. Nous crions. Vous criez. Il crie. Okay, just replace those uh, red parts with those one. Very simple. Um, for example, if you I stick in the musical language, I could say accorder. Accordé, you, you still have this air sound, but very common in French. Accordé, oh, sorry. Accordé could be, for example, it has, has a few meanings, but one of those uh, meanings could be to tune. For example, uh, I'm tuning my guitar. J'accorde ma guitare. To tune. Accordé. There is another word uh, means uh, to find an agreement. Uh, accordé. It's, 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 not a, it's not a problem. But for example, just remember, it's like tuning my guitar. J'accorde, tu accordes, il accorde, nous accordons, vous accordez, ils accordent. Um, well, it's, it's not bad. Um, there, there are many, of course, but the, the, my task here is not to, to give the, the full list. Just remember, when I speak about exceptions, uh, in this first group, when there will be exceptions, I won't speak about exceptions right now, but just later on, uh, when there are exceptions, it will never be on the ending. This ending, E-E-S, E-O-N-S, E-Z, E-N-T, that will never change. For some reason, maybe generally uh, acoustic reasons, we will have to change the radical just a little bit. That's the, the, uh, the only exceptions that exist uh, in the first group. Okay? Later.